I beat my November Poshmark sales by over $100. Hello, love. Thank you for spending a little sliver of your day with me today. If you're new here, my name is Sarah and I'm a part-time reseller on websites such as Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. I also work as a full-time assistant principal, so really my time here on these platforms is roughly two hours a day. If you are a returning viewer or you've subscribed to my channel already, Welcome back. I'm happy to have you here. In this video, I'll be going over my December 2021 sales on Poshmark alone. I've been really trying to track how I spend my time because I am that full-time assistant principal. I don't have a lot of time to give to different platforms, so I've been trying to figure out how I can best spend my time. So that's why I'm focusing just on Poshmark. In my next video, I'll be talking about just my eBay sales, and then the following video will be just my Mercari sales from December of 2021. With that said, I'm gonna go ahead and share what sold for over $400 on Poshmark in December of 2021. The very first thing that sold was a four pack of Henny Roo socks. These sold for $14. I paid $0.50 cents from a Quick Lots Amazon palette. I've talked about this before. I have way more than doubled, quadrupled my money on that palette, and it's still coming. Um, my cost of goods on that palette was about $0.50. Cents. I earned then $10.50 profit into my pocket from that sale alone. Next thing to sell was a Calvin Klein black work dress. This sold for $32.00. I sourced it for $7.50 from my local Goodwill, but I actually sourced it for myself. I'm in the habit of listing my own clothes onto Poshmark because I tend to overwear clothes. So I, once it sells, it kind of is a hint to me like, oh, time to move on to something different. So I didn't say that that took out of my cost of goods because I got a lot of wear out of it. I would say I probably wore it like 20 different times, a basic black dress, you can't go wrong. So I had a profit of $25.60 on that item. The next thing to sell was a Michael Michael Kors, it was red cable neck scarf. This sold for $10. I had a $3 cost of goods into this. This came from a Quick Clots Nordstrom General Merchandise half palette. And after the cost of goods, then I earned $4.05 on that item. I also sold a set of six, I want to say you pronounce it LAC nail polish, they're vegan nail polish. These I got from my Quick Lots Nordstrom half palette for cost of goods of $3. They sold for $12 with a profit of $6.05. I packaged these into a box and I thought I put enough stuffing in them or into the box, but I guess that I didn't, and one of them actually exploded in transit. The buyer reached out to Poshmark wanting to get a refund for the, the nail polish that, that broke. They said they weren't able to use anything just because it was like a complete mess. They weren't mad about it. They just, you know, it's not fair to them that they got broken nail polish. So Poshmark ended up releasing funds to me and giving money back to the buyer. And I really appreciate this. I feel like this type of situation is why we pay the 20% to Poshmark. I've had situations like this on other platforms and I was basically just out the money. Um, this, again, was $6.05. It would have been okay if I got lost that money, but again, I really appreciate the fact that Poshmark did that. The next thing to sell was a Brixton fleece neck gaiter. This came from Quick Lots. I honestly can't remember if I got it from the Nordstrom half palette or if I got from the Amazon palette. So I'm going to go with the higher end cost of goods of $3 with the half palette. It sold for $15, which means I got $9 in my pocket after the $3 cost of goods. I also sold an Ann Taylor Loft straight black corduroy pants. These I got free from Nextdoor. I was sourcing through one particular person from the Nextdoor app. 
They sold for $28 and into my pocket I got $22.40. So that free inventory is really working out for me. Another piece from that free inventory was Love and Lounge Pajama Set. These sold for $23 to the buyer. In my pocket, I received $18.40 because again, it was that free inventory. Moving on with some more free inventory, some loft olive green jeggings or leggings. These sold for $25 and I got $20 into my pocket from that sale alone. Yet another free inventory piece from the next store app was a loft tan floral button front blouse. This sold for $5, which gave me $2.05 into my pocket, but really I will take anything if it is that free inventory. I'm just trying to kind of get rid of it so that I can reinvest that money into some higher end inventory. Yet again, another piece of free inventory from that Nextdoor app. It was a Next blue and white geometric print t-shirt. This sold for $15 with free shipping, so I earned $4.55 on that piece. The next thing to sell was not from the free inventory. It was actually from the Quick Lots Amazon palette. It was a New England Patriots hat. This sold for $19, and that gave me $14.70 into my pocket. I was happy to get rid of this item because the way that I store my inventory, I have like 10, um, 10 items in one box, and really the hat took up two sometimes three spaces that a shirt would take up. So it was really weighing down in my inventory system. I know it's helpful to a lot of people to see how other people store inventory. So if you would like me to create a video on that, just let me know, leave a comment down below and I'll make sure that I follow through with that. Moving on, I sold a flip sequin Naughty or Nice. It was a cosmetic bag that, you know, one side of the sequence was one color, the other side was another color, so you can flip back and forth between naughty and nice. This sold for $11 and came from the Quick Lots Nordstrom Half Palette, so I earned $5.05 on that item. Thing to sell was a 10-piece reseller mystery box, and in this mystery box, I put 10 pieces of this free inventory that I got through the Nextdoor app. I seriously had so much that even though I started sourcing from that person back in July, I still have a lot that's not listed. Not because it's not good inventory, but because I don't, I just, I haven't had time to list it. I call me a lazy reseller. I have a huge death pile. So this was happy, I was happy to get rid of this. This sold for $18, which gave me $14.40 worth of profit. The person was very excited to get that box. I was happy to get some inventory out of my house. It was a win-win. The next thing to sell was also from that free inventory. It was a pair or five pairs of Victoria's Secret boy short pants. These sold for $27 with a shipping discount and I earned $19.14 on that. Funny thing with this is my description said five panties. And when the buyer got it, they said, oh, it was only four panties. They were actually not that mad about it. In the picture, there was four panties. So apparently I just didn't know how to count while I was listing these panties. And they were like, oh, things are crazy during Christmas. It's okay, I understand. So I'm happy that that worked out because that could have been a very upset buyer if it was somebody else. The next thing to sell was a Botanico de Havana dry diffuser gift set. This sold for $19 and it came from the Nordstrom half palette. This next one actually came at a loss. I sold a pair of two very oversized scrunchies for $3. These came from my Nordstrom general merchandise half palette for a total of $6. I ended up getting five cents back from this. Now these still have not tracked in shipping. The buyer is being very patient with it. I'm honestly not really stressing out about it because it's five cents and it was a loss anyways. 
So as long as the, the buyer is patient, I know that Poshmark will eventually give them their money back for it. The next thing to sell was a Nine West Red Strappy Almond Toe Pumps. These sold for $19. These I actually sourced for the $50 challenge that I did with a bunch of other resellers. The challenge was to spend $50 on items to then resell and see how much money we can get back in a month's time. Well, I did not win that challenge, but I will tell you it was kind of fun to get together with a group of other resellers who are also on YouTube and be able to collaborate and make a challenge and just have a sense of community. I joined this community through Becky Park's YouTube reseller course. It gave me access to a Facebook group with all those different resellers. I know that some of your goals for 2022 might be to get into reselling YouTube community and this would be the perfect opportunity. I do know that she is starting a new cohort in which you can get a live Zoom with her and then other people who are in that cohort. And then you will also have access to that Facebook group to have different collaborations and meet different people, brainstorm, get positive feedback or constructive feedback as well. If you are interested in joining the January cohort or other cohorts, if you need a little bit to think about it, there is a promo code in my description below. If you are somebody that's part of that Facebook group, I thank you for supporting me and watching this video. I know that I've been watching a lot of your videos as well and I'd love to learn and grow along with you. Another item that I'd like to share with you that I sold was a black paper bag pants. This sold for $15. These came from an Amazon palette, but I wore them no less than 20 times. So I'm gonna say there was no cost of goods in this because really it was my own that I was selling off. So I earned $12 off of this item. The next thing to sell was a Casabella gray and white pajama set. This sold for $39 with free shipping. I got this through the Nextdoor app for that free inventory. So I earned $23.75 on this item. I sold a bundle of a whole bunch of that free inventory. First thing in that bundle was a Next Blue Linen Dress. I had an Atmosphere Champagne Color Sparkly Dress. This one was not from that free inventory, but it was from my own personal closet. It was Michael Michael Kors wedges. More from the free inventory was the loft yellow shift dress, Top Shop neon pink shift dress. And finally, not from that free inventory was a Dallas Cowboys hat. This came from the Quick Lots Amazon palette for 50 cents cost of goods. Total, the buyer paid $90. I earned $72 and after that 50 cent cost of goods for the hat, $71.50 was my profit on that item. Another sale from the free inventory, a new look purple tank. This sold for $15, which gave me $12 a profit into my pocket. The next thing I saw was I'm rooting for everybody black t-shirt. This sold for $27 with free shipping. This came from the Amazon palette, which gave me $14.15 of profit into my pocket. Another piece, of course, of free inventory, a loft white eyelet high neck dress. This sold for $20, which gave me $16 of profit. More free inventory. New look black flowy t-shirt. This sold for $18 with free shipping and I earned $6.95 of profit. Back to the Amazon palette, a 10 pack of black socks. These sold for $6 after cost of goods. I get $2.55 of profit. Another bundle, um, a pair of Henny Rue The Naturalist, five pack of socks, and a Gap Denim Button Front Dress. The socks came from the Amazon palette. I've sold one of those before. The Gap Button Front Dress came from the free inventory. 
this buyer paid $22 on an offer, which gave me $17.10 in profit after that 50 cents cost of goods and free inventory. More free inventory that sold. It was a Hugh Gray corduroy leggings. This sold for $31 and free shipping. I earned $17.35 of profit after, after the free inventory cost of goods. This next piece came from the Nordstrom General Merchandise Half Palette through Quick Lots. This wall plus tile stickers sold for $23 on free shipping, which gave me $7.95 of profit into my pocket. More from the Nordstrom Half Palette, a blue and white check to Easter basket. This sold for $15, which gave me $9 of profit after cost of goods and fees. Another bundle with some more socks. Honey Roo British flag socks and Honey Roo the naturalist socks. These sold for $15, came from Amazon with a $1 cost of goods. So that gave me $11 into my pocket. Next, free inventory again. Maiden Flexi's Convertible Body Shaper. This sold for $13, which gave me $10.05 of profit. The final thing to sell in the month of December was, of course, free inventory from Loft. It was a sleeveless white floral lace shift dress. This sold for $20. And this makes my grand total of profit for the month of December of 21 to $455.49. Now last month, in the month of November, I earned $344.61. One thing that I can say probably gave me a little bit more profit in the month of December is I previously didn't have Posture VA and halfway through December, I got a new computer, I downloaded the extension for Posture VA, I can almost guarantee that a lot of those sales came from Pasher VA. If you've been hesitant on getting Pasher VA in any way, I promise you this should be proof that it really is worth it. It was $135 for six months, and as you can see, I already gained that money back just because of how beneficial it is. Of course, I have a promo code down below in my description if you are interested in taking the jump. You can actually try it out for free for a limited time and after that, then you can use the 20% off promo code below. If you do have any questions on Pasture VA or anything at all, please let me know. I would be happy to answer those questions for you either in the comments or if it was a large enough question, I would create another video for you. If you'd like to see what my sales are over on eBay and Mercari from the month of December, make sure you describe, hit the little bell notification so that you're notified when those videos come out. Again, I really appreciate you supporting me and joining me in this community so we can learn and grow together.